Hello friends, good morning everybody. Tumma Sarvans Economics Yatta Baraviya Vishya Chai Video Lecture Madhe Hardik Swagat Before starting this video lecture I just revised what we studied in previous video lectures the main objective behind revising that you must link yourself with this video and previous videos so in previous videos we discuss important concepts of third topic that is 3a demand analysis that is what is meant by demand what is meant by individual demand what is meant by individual demand schedule what is meant by market demand schedule What are the types of demand? Why demand curve slopes downward? Determinants of demand. Then you start law of demand. So from this video lecture we continue. Law of demand and its assumptions. So basically statement of law of demand. According to Professor Alfred Marshall, other things being equal, other things being equal, other things being equal. So, which other things being equal? All the determinants of demand, all the determinants of demand must be equal. For the practical implication, practical application of this law, as we studied in first topic, one of the feature of microeconomics, the Sitter's paribus means other things being equal. That is, income should be constant. taste habit preferences should be constant there is no change in price no change in size and composition of population so all these things must be equal that is no change in all these things that is other things these other things which directly or indirectly determine the demand all these things must be equal for the practical application of the law of statement of law of demand so other things being equal higher the price of commodity higher smaller is the quantity demanded and lower is the price of commodity larger is the quantity demanded higher price smaller quantity lower price larger quantity 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 larger quantity price higher price lower price means it is a behavior of consumer that consumer prefer to buy any commodity when its prices are lower at that time they buy larger quantity when prices are higher they buy smaller quantity so the law of demand states that 
द फंक्शनल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन प्राइस एंड क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड व्हेन अदर थिंग्स व्हिच डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली क्रिएट देयर इंपैक्ट ऑन डिमांड सो अदर थिंग्स बीइंग इक्वल सो द नेक्स्ट थिंग टेबल which shows quantity demanded the first column shows price of commodity x in rupees and second column shows quantity demanded of commodity x in kg when price is rupees 50 at the same time quantity demanded is 1 kg when there is fall in the price from rupees 50 to rupees 40 at the same time quantity demanded is rises from rupees 1 kg to sorry from 1 kg to 2 kg continuously when there is fall in the price from rupees 40 to rupees 30 from rupees 30 to rupees 20 and from rupees 20 to rupees 10 continues there is a rise in the quantity demanded of commodity x in kg by 3 kg to 4 kg to 5 kg means when there is larger the price that is 50 smaller is the quantity demanded and when there is smaller the price larger the quantity demanded larger the quantity demanded so here we make a graphical presentation graphical presentation of this schedule of this demand schedule okay when price is 50 quantity demanded in kg is 1 kg when price is 40 quantity demanded is 2 kg when price is 30 quantity demanded is 3 kg when price is 20 quantity demanded is 4 kg and when price is 10 quantity demanded is 5 kg basically first i explain you the graph which shown here on y axis we shows price in rupees that is all the prices in rupees on x axis quantity demanded in kg on x axis quantity demanded in kg on y axis price in rupees so prices are 50 40 30 20 10 and quantity demanded in kg 1 kg 2 kg 3 kg 4 kg and 5 kg on x axis and on y axis prices of commodity x in rupees when price is 50 quantity demanded is 1 kg continuously when there is fall in the price 
from rupees 50 to rupees 40 rupees 40 to rupees 30 rupees 30 to rupees 20 and rupees 20 to rupees 10 continuously there is in rise in the quantity demanded or larger the quantity demanded when price is fall small when smaller the price quantity demanded is larger that is rupees 2 kg sorry 2 kg 3 kg 4 kg and 5 kg so this graph and table shows an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded price and quantity demanded and this line shows demand curve which slopes downward from left to right left to right if there is question in the examination because this question is many times asks for for HSC examination that is explain law of demand with assumption at that time you have to write down introduction statement basis then schedule explanation of schedule in four points graph explanation of graph in four points and assumptions so the next thing it is assumptions of law of demand constant level of income it is assumed that for the practical operation that the law of demand must be true find true consumer income remain constant if there is rise in income people may buy more at a given price for example during the experiment of finding this statement must be true so at that time of experiment if there is rise in income of any person so what happen he may buy more at he may buy more because of his income is rises or increases so these things does not so at that time we say that price and quantity demanded has inverse relationship so these things does not prove here so level of income of consumer must be constant to find out the statement of law of demand is true so if there is rise in income people may buy more at a given price so level of income must be constant during the practical application of the law is one of the assumption 
नेक्स्ट नो चेंज इन साइज ऑफ पॉपुलेशन एज वी डिस्कस अर्लियर वाइल स्टडिंग वाइल वी स्टडीड डिटर्मिनेंट्स ऑफ डिमांड that larger the size of population larger is the quantity demanded so size of population remain unchanged if any rise or fall in the size and composition of population of a country affects the total demand for the product any rise or fall in the size and composition of population of a country affects the total demand for the product that's why size and composition of population remain constant to prove the statement of law of demand is true next assumption price of substituted goods remain constant it is assumed that prices of substitute remains constant if any change in the substitute will affect the demand for the commodity if any change in the substitute will affect the demand for the commodity during the application of law to prove the statement is true if there is any change in the price of substituted goods which directly rises demand for rises the demand for its substitute so all these things does not prove the statement of law of demand is true so price or prices of substitute goods remain constant it is assumed that prices of substitute goods remain constant if any change in the substitute will affect the demand for the commodity if any change in the substitute will affect the demand for the commodity next prices of complementary goods remain constant it is assumed that prices of complementary goods remain constant because a change in price of one good will affect the demand for other for example if prices of fuel falls the demand for car become rises so during the study of practical application of law of demand prices of complementary goods remain constant it is assumed next no expectation about future change in price it is assumed that if consumer expect that any further change in the price in near future 
it is assumed that if a consumer expect that any future change in the price in near future if it is expected by the consumer that there is change in the price in near future so what happen if it is expected that there is a rise in the price in future then consumer will buy more in present and if it is expected that there is fall in the price in future then it is then consumer will decline its demand for that particular commodity so it is not expected that it is not expected that the expectations about consumer about the change in price in future maybe price change maybe changes rise in price or maybe change in fall in price all these things are not expected or it is assumed that consumer expectations that consumer do not expect about the rise in price in future so it is assumed that if consumer not expect that any further change in price in near future if it is expected by consumer that if there is change in the price in future so these things directly impact on the requirement of commodity that is on demand of commodity because there is change in the price and it is expected by the consumer so up because of his expectation there may be rise or fall in the demand for that particular commodity so it is assumed that if consumer not expect that any further change in the price of commodity in near future next is no change in tastes habits and preferences passions of consumer it is assumed that any change in the above factor will lead to change in demand if any commodity goes out of fashion so the demand for per, for that particular commodity will be fallen so during the to prove the statement of law of demand is true at that time it is assumed that the change of course change there is no change in tastes habits preferences fashions of consumer all these things remain constant during the practical practical application of the law or to prove the statement of law is law of demand is true that is taste of consumer habits of consumer preferences of consumer and fashions of consumer remain remain constant or there is no change all these things are assumed next assumption no change in taxation policy during the application of law if any change in tax rate by the by the government will affect the demand if government rises the tax rate demand will be fall and if government reduces the taxes 
demand will be rises so no change in taxation policy because basically the law of demand explain a functional relationship between price and quantity demanded and the relationship is inverse relationship as we discuss as we discuss and see that is when price is 50 quantity demanded is 1 kg and continuously with the with the fall in the price quantity demanded is rises and which shows a inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded that's why law the demand curve slopes downward from left to right that's why the all the assumed it is assumed that income remain constant no change in size of population price of subsidized goods remain constant price of complementary goods remain constant no expectation about future change in price no change in taste habit and preferences no change in taxation policy so all these things are assumed that because all these are assumptions maybe these things are really happen or not it is difficult to say but for the practical application to prove the statement of law of demand is true it is assumed that only he grew with the rely that all these things all these things remain constant all these things remain constant or there is no change in all these things because we if you see properly these all these things are also the determinants of demand determinants of demand what they what is mean by determinants of demand determinants of demand as i already told you the things which directly make impact on the rise or fall in demand known as a determinants so these are also the determinants because all these determinants are remain constant that is ceteris paribus or other things so these are the other things which are said that other things being equal so these are the other things that is income size of population prices of subsidized goods prices of complementary goods no expectation about future prices no change in taste habit preferences and fashion of consumer no change in taxation policy so all these things remain constant during the to prove the law statement of law of demand is true okay so for today i stop here after watching this video you have to write down law of demand with assumptions law of demand with assumptions and if you find because this question that is explain law of demand with assumptions are this question is asked many time for hsc examination for 8 marks many means many many times asked so i think all of you must keep in mind the importance of this question as far as our hsc exam is concerned you must write down this question answer of this question in your textbook and send me as quick as early and as possible
and if you find this video is useful to you for your examination purpose then please subscribe my channel sridesh 999 thanks for watching